eyebrows. As you can see um, here, I'm showing I have one done and one not done, so that's the before and after. I just went ahead and used my um, Anastasia Brow Duo in Soft Brown, and I used a mix of the lighter and the darker color to just fill them in with an angled brush from Sigma. And now I'm using this Sigma Angled Precision Brush with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and I'm just using that as a base for my eyeshadow. So I'm just kind of taking that, and as you can see, just kind of like covering my entire lid with that um, just to provide a base for the eyeshadow, like I said. And now I'm using this palette from the Too Faced Le Grand Chateau palette, which is from their Christmas collection. It had three mini palettes in it, and this was one of them. This was the neutral one. I'm going to be starting out with that color Fifi, which is the middle color on the top row. And I just thought it would be a really good transition color since it's just a good neutral medium brown kind of color. So I'm going to be using a Sigma blending brush. Um, I'm using a regular blending brush and like a tapered blending brush. Just a mix of fluffy brushes to um, kind of apply that transition color and just really blend it into my crease. Next up, I'm going to be using my Anastasia self-made palette. And I really love this because it's got a very good variety of colors and they're all very pigmented and high quality. I'm going to be using that hot and cold color right there, which is just a nice like kind of um, brown color, I guess. And it's got a little bit of shimmer to it. So I'm going to be using that on like the outer third of my eye, just to make it a little bronzier and smokier. And now I'm going to be taking that Bonjour color, which is just a really pretty, very pigmented gold kind of color. So I'm just going to actually be using my finger to apply that because I found that it actually does it, just applies it a little bit more pigmented and it just really makes the color pop. So I'm just going to be applying that all over the lid. And as you can see, that's afterwards and I still have that much left on my finger. So it's very, very pigmented. And now I'm going to be taking that dark brown color there in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to be using that to apply to the very kind of like outer edge of my crease of my eye just to kind of like darken it up and give my eyes a little bit more definition. And now I'm going to be taking that cream color in the um, upper left hand corner and I'm going to be using that as my brow highlight. I'm just kind of like softly placing that for now but I'll actually go back and um, brighten it up a little bit more once I do some other things. Um, I just kind of wiped, took a makeup wipe and wiped it to create a sharper line um, but then I decided I wanted to take a little bit of my MAC um, Fix Plus with a MAC pigment. This is in the shade Naked I believe and I just wanted to do that to kind of like brighten up the inner corner. I ended up actually not being that crazy about the way it looks so I kind of um, well, you'll see here in a second, um, I just went ahead and went back with the gold over top, that bonjour color, because I just liked it more. I liked the bronzy gold look, and the pigment was a little lighter than I was expecting. So that's kind of how it turned out. Um, if I was recreating this look, I would just skip the whole pigment step, but that's what I had done originally. And now I'm just taking that cream color once again and brightening up the highlight like I had said earlier. And now I'm just taking a piece of tape to, um, I just wanted to, like, add a little bit more drama and just really darken up that outer crease and just have a really sharp line. So I'm taking that dark brown color once again and just really working that along the edge of the tape. So as you can see, once I peeled off that tape, I was left with a really sharp line. Um, it's not as dark as it could be, but it was still pretty dark. And I'm just going to go ahead and skip eyeliner and go straight to mascara. I'm going to be using this CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara, and um, I'm just going to be applying that to my top lashes. I'm going to go back and do some more um, eyeshadow and stuff on my lower lashes. So for now, I'm just going to be doing my top lashes, as you can see. And I actually really, really love this mascara. Now I'm just going to be applying some foundation. This is a sample of a Sephora foundation, um, like the actual Sephora brand. don't remember what it was, but I ended up not really being that crazy about it. It didn't give me very good coverage, and I didn't really like the finish of it. So if I was going back and recreating this look, I would just go ahead and use my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation because I was not crazy about the way this foundation looked. Um, but now I'm just taking my LA Girl Concealer and applying that in the places that I would like to highlight, which would be under my eyes, forehead, nose, and... Um, a little bit on my chin and I'm using my Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend that in and um, just buff it out and everything and now I'm going to be setting my under eyes with my 
MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW10, and I'm using that Real Techniques brush, and now I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder on a Real Techniques powder brush to set the rest of my face. And now I'm taking my Hula Bronzer, and I'm using the actual Hula brush to kind of just get the bronzer on my skin, and then I'm going to go back with my Real Techniques blush brush just to blend it out and give it a very, very bronzy look, because I wanted this look to be super bronzy. And now I'm taking this MAC bronzer from their Aquatic Collection, and I'm just kind of applying that on my cheeks, just and my temples, and everywhere else, just to bronze it up a little bit more and now I'm taking this um, that brush to make my contour a little bit sharper now I'm applying my Becca opal highlighter and I hadn't used this one while I didn't realize how pigmented it was so if I was going back I would not do my highlight that crazy because it was very very intense and I didn't mean for it to look that much but um anyways I do really like it I would just do it with a lighter hand next time and now I'm taking my Mac spice lip liner with my oh honey lip liner and my blinkety um, lipstick to kind of create this nude lip and now I'm kind of applying the same eyeshadows I applied on my upper like eyelid to my lower lash line and after that I applied fake eyelashes these were Lily lashes um, I can't remember the exact style it was either Milan or Venice um, I'll try to type it in the description below because I can't remember right now but um, I really, really like them, and this was the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure to enter my giveaway if you haven't yet. Um, I'm giving away lots of good prizes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on all my social media, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.